Hi guys, welcome to 10 Tools in 10 Weeks. This is tool number two. Hopefully you guys checked out last week's episode, or if you're watching this one in the future, hopefully you'll check out next week's episode. Uh, this week we're looking at the Weber gauge set. Well, these are uh, tool room gauges that, um, that a machinist would use to uh, check the accuracy of um, whatever they're making. So these are exactly measured to their size. So this is 0 0.101 inches. And that's one hundredth and one thousandth of an inch. It's, uh, it's a hundred and one thousandths of an inch. A hundred and one thousandths of an, an inch. inch. That yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. And this one is three inches. And I, oh, wait a sec. This is the smallest one. This is one thousand and one of an inch. Yeah. Measures to, yeah, you're right. Point one zero zero. I'm actually going to zoom in here so the audience can. This one, right? Point one zero zero one th of an inch. So that's one thousand and one th of an inch. One ten thousandth. It's, it's a tenth and, and a ten thousand. How would you say that? Well, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's a very small amount more than a tenth of an inch. Yeah. One thousandth more than. No, it's not. No, it's not. It's, it's not. It's that's four decimal places. It would places. be. It would be one hundredth of an inch without without that one. Right? Yeah. So it is one thousandth of an inch. No, it'd be one tenth. Yeah, it'd be a tenth, tenth plus a, a ten thousandth of an a inch. A ten thousandth. Of an inch. Of an inch. Yeah. Oh, okay. Let's start over. So we're looking at this one. It's point one zero zero one of an inch. Of an inch. So that is point one would be a tenth of an inch. It's it's one thousand and one ten thousandths of an inch. <laughs> okay. try, try it again. So it's 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 one thousand and one. Ten thousandths of an inch. Okay, so that last number is ten thousandths yeah. of an inch. So, now, so the way we the way we said this one, uh, you, you know, so we, we this one over here we said was a hundred and one thousandths of an inch because it's measured it to the third decimal place. Yeah. This one goes to the fourth decimal place. So this is one thousand and one ten thousandths of an, of an inch. inch. Okay, that's that's amazing. Why would you ever need that sort of accuracy? What you, what you do is you build up the blocks. So let's take, if we want a, a measurement of, and, you get, and you've, got, you've got to clean these like this. But say you wanted to measure something that was, okay, so if you wanted to measure something two inches plus 0.144 or 144 thousandths of an inch, you would put them together, so they they're so finely polished that they will actually, when you slide them, stick together. So you see, they're stuck together. So now you would get your height gauge, and you you would then have this on your your table, and you would measure that, and then you could whatever you're making measure against it. And yeah. Use use this as the gauge. So what, what I wanted to do was just test a couple of these instruments. So, so let's take the cheap. Okay, so this is, these are the same things. Uh, for those of you who haven't watched last week's uh, episode, these are the digital, these are the calipers. calipers. Uh, this, the first one is from Harbor Freight. It's the digital caliper Pittsburgh. It's the generic home brand. What are we going to do? One inch? One inch. Okay, let's take that. So you can see that it actually... Well, it's measuring uh, within half a thou of one inch, uh, or one thou. It's alternating between one thou and half a thou. So it's measuring within half a thou, or five ten thousandths of an inch. Yeah, you know, for home home use, someone that's that is not looking for absolute accuracy, that's probably good enough. This is not something you would use in a tool room. It's not something you'd use in a tool room. No, you'd want much no. higher accuracy. Yeah. Okay, do you want to pull out some of the other ones? The other one we looked at last week was the, uh, the Brown & Sharp. So if we look at the dial on this Brown & Sharp Swiss-made 
dial caliper, we can see that it's zero. Okay, we open it up and measure the one inch, and you can see this one is also zero. So this, the, the brown is sharp, shouldn't have dropped there, the brown is sharp, I, I would reckon is pretty accurate. Again, it's a caliper, not a micrometer. This is the uh, the old uh, Mitutoyo uh, that I I told you I bought for five bucks at a garage sale. And this also shows one inch. But that one, because it's not as accurate, because it doesn't have the... Well, it's got a vernier on it. Right. Right. So you've got to be able to read the vernier. Uh, my eyes right now in this light tell me it's very close to to the one inch, but I, unless I get my magnifying glass, I can't verify that. Let's try one of the Helios. This was also in last week's video. This is the Helios. Yeah. So you can see the dial on this is exactly zero. So this is also measuring giving an accurate measurement. I'm, sure, I'm actually, I don't want to sound weird about it, but I'm actually surprised at how accurate they are. You know, you expect when you come across a tool like this that things will be so precise that everything will be off, you know? But it's amazing that, it's amazing that they're that accurate. So that will be 10,000. Yeah, but I've no I've no way of measuring that ten thousandth. Yeah, because unless you had a micrometer. Well, even micrometers, yes, some, they can measure some of them to ten thousand. Ten thousandths. I've got a, um, a tool room microscope that might help me get measure it to ten thousand. Well, we'll save that for another episode. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for tuning in this week, guys. Don't forget to uh, press subscribe. Make sure to catch all of the ten tools in ten weeks. Uh, this was episode two. You can now go to episode three if you're in the future or back to episode one if you haven't already seen it to check out those calipers. That has been the... Who, who makes this thing? Because it says Starrett and it says Weber. It's, uh, it's actually Starrett, but I think uh, it's, it's a, uh, either a subdivision of Weber. Because I think... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Where did you find this? Kijiji. Oh, yeah. So somebody was just selling it. They probably didn't know what it was. Well, they know. They knew what oh, it was. Oh, they knew what it was. Oh, I okay. paid good money for that. Oh, right. Okay. That was, what, is, what does something like that cost? Well, I think it cost me 300 and something. Wow. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I, maybe not that much, but, you know, but yeah, it was expensive. 300 Canadian. Yeah. Yeah. Depending on the response we get, I may do more videos related to my tool. So uh, how will we know? If you give this 100 likes, that's right guys, 100 likes on this video will tell us that you guys are into it enough that you'd like to see some more of the weird and unusual tools in and around the workshop uh, that Dad might have and he can explain them to us. Thanks again for watching 10 Tools in 10 Weeks. Don't forget to subscribe and join in the conversation in the comment section below. If we have any more information, we'll share it in the About section. We'll see you guys next week for a new episode with new tools.